Welcome back to That's Disturbing. Today we're taking an in-depth exploration into the life and legacy of Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, one of the most influential and controversial figures in the realm of modern spirituality and esotericism. Helena Petrovna Blavatsky was born on August 12, 1831, in Yekaterinoslav, now known as Dnipro, Ukraine. Dnipro, located in the eastern part of Ukraine along the Dnieper River, is a city with a rich history and a significant industrial center. Born into Russian nobility, Blavatsky's unconventional nature manifested early in her life, setting the stage for her extraordinary journey. At the age of seventeen, she entered a brief marriage with Nikki for Blavatsky, a union that lasted only a few months. This early experience seemed to fuel her desire for independence and spiritual exploration. I was provoked into marriage. The family always said nobody would ever want me. I was too headstrong, too irresponsible. To escape their control, I'm thinking I would have more freedom as a married woman, I accepted an army general named Blavatsky. I never consummated the marriage, and after three disastrous months, I left him and Russia. After the separation, Blavatsky embarked on extensive travels across Asia, Europe, and the United States. On these trips, she claimed to have studied with various spiritual masters and gained access to ancient wisdom. While these claims have been disputed, they formed the foundation of her later work. In 1873, Blavatsky arrived in New York City, where she became involved in the spiritualist movement. However, she soon distinguished herself by claiming direct communication with advanced spiritual beings she called masters or Mahatmas. In 1875, along with Colonel Henry Steele Olcott and William Kwan Judge, Blavatsky founded the Theosophical Society to create a nucleus of universal brotherhood without distinction of race, creed, sex, caste, or color, to encourage the study of comparative religion, philosophy, and science, and to investigate unexplained laws of nature and the powers latent in humanity. Blavatsky's first significant work, Isis Unveiled, was published in 1877. This ambitious two-volume book attempted to reconcile ancient wisdom traditions with modern science, challenging both religious orthodoxy and scientific materialism. In 1888, she published her magnum opus, The Secret Doctrine. This work expanded on the ideas presented in Isis Unveiled, and laid out a comprehensive cosmological and anthropological system that became the cornerstone of theosophical philosophy. However, Blavatsky's claims were not without controversy. In 1885, a report commissioned by the Society for Psychical Research accused her of fraudulent production of supposedly supernatural phenomena. This scandal damaged her reputation and led to her departure from India, where she had established the Theosophical Society's headquarters. Critics have also accused Blavatsky of plagiarism, with some authors presenting evidence that her writings heavily borrowed from older esoteric sources. The authenticity of the Mahatma letters, which she claimed were written by her spiritual masters, has also been questioned. Despite the controversies, Blavatsky's impact on Western esotericism and alternative spirituality has been profound and enduring. Her synthesis of Eastern and Western spiritual traditions, emphasis on the unity of all religions, and introduction of concepts like karma and reincarnation to Western audiences paved the way for many New Age and alternative spiritual movements of the 20th and 21st centuries. Helena Petrovna Blavatsky died on May 8, 1891, in London. Her life, characterized by extensive travel, spiritual exploration, and prolific writing, left an indelible mark on the landscape of alternative spirituality. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Helena Petrovna Blavatsky's life. Her complex legacy continues to inspire study and debate, reminding us of the enduring human quest for spiritual understanding and the power of ideas to shape our world. But did she really have a second sight? or was she merely a charlatan, preying on the beliefs of those around her? 
I believe what people believe is their business, but sometimes a belief can lead to deception. In the case of Helena Blavatsky, I happen to believe that there was deception afoot. That is, however, just my opinion. What disturbs me is that I might be wrong, and Madame Blavatsky was indeed a seer of things beyond our understanding. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, stay disturbed.